And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, this is uh, a YouTube video with the title, the, the World Without India. What would it be like? Fun facts about why India is great. I guess you could find videos like this for every single culture or well some might be lengthy like i guess the india would have a huge vast and america might just be one small little segment and canada might be even a smaller segment but there'd still be something there sorry i gotta gotta <laughs> but i'm sure every nation provides something something hopefully have you ever thought about what the industrial revolution pokemon and the kardashians yeah. have in common Without Ew. them, our world would be a much different place. I'd but have you ever thought about how the world would look without India? From breathtaking landscapes to rich culture and traditions, from mouth-watering cuisine to stunning architecture, India has it all. Can you imagine missing one-sixth of the world population? With over 1.3 billion, India makes up 17% of the world population, is the biggest democracy in the world, and it also has the third largest economy. But the population of Bharata, the Hindi name for India, is not only large, but also extremely diverse. There's no country more diverse than India, culturally, religiously, and intellectually. Do you fancy cakes and cookies? You'll also have to thank India for your cavities and diabetes, as it was the first country to develop <laughs> extraction and purifying uh, techniques of sugar, of back in 350 AD. And ever since, they have been adding it to their cooking and desserts in ginormous quantities. 20 kilograms per capita, more precisely. But even if they do have a sweet tooth, Indian men know that sweets are not how you win a woman's heart. Diamonds are. So guys, if you want to blame someone for having to spend thousands on an engagement ring, Indians are the ones. They were the first to mine those expensive rocks that make your girlfriends happy. And Indians' passion for splendor doesn't stop at shiny jewelry. Their cities are engulfed by people, okay, more than usual, during festivals such as Holi, Diwali, Navarati, and Onam, which are known for being big and extremely colorful. In fact, the Holi festival inspired the famous color run. And that's not the only thing Westerners borrowed from Indians. <laughs> we are everything. what we think, said Buddha. Probably one of the reasons why India is such a diverse country is because of the multitude of religious beliefs, traditions, and practices. The Indian subcontinent is the birthplace of four of the world's major religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. But considering the very idea of religion was born there, that is to be expected. Do you sometimes miss your Pentium computer? You might not be alone. Up until 2009, 90% of the world's computers run on a Pentium chip, which was developed by the Indian engineer, entrepreneur, and venture capitalist, Vinod Dhan. But a laptop without Wi-Fi is like a football without beer. Well, guess what? The father of wireless communication was also an Indian. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose's contributions to the field of radio and microwave optics gained him the title of Father of Radio Science by the IEEE. -E -E. So basically, we owe our most prized possession, our wireless internet, to Indians. When it comes to war, wait, what? War? India has never invaded or attacked another country in the last 10,000 years. However, they are the world's largest importer of arms. So better safe than sorry. They'll bike to your country with a rocket if they have to. Don't be too fast in thinking that India is the perfect country to live in, though. Masanram, a village on the Kasi Hills, Meghalaya, is officially the wettest inhabited place in the world. But Indians don't seem to whine as much as that others do. So cool. On the contrary, it seems like they really like wet places. So much so that they even have a floating I post office. I want to visit. Sailing to closer waters, like the ones in your shower. Did you know that Indians also invented shampooing? The word yeah, shampoo comes from the Sanskrit shampoo, which means massage. <laughs> and they've been massaging with herbs for thousands of years. So next time you're in the shower, you can also dedicate a song to Indians. How about we talk about what really matters? Entertainment. Without Freddie Mercury and Ben Kingsley, the world of entertainment would not be the same. Queen's lead vocalist was born in Parsi with the name Farouk Bulsara, while the famous Oscar-winning Hollywood star Ben Kingsley was born actors. as Krishna Pandit Banji. We save the best for last. Finance. Last year, the goods and services tax was introduced in India. This is the first step towards dramatically reshaping the country's $2 trillion economy and lifting the burden that up until now fell on both companies and consumers. All right. 
other than the product placement that was basically plastered throughout. Um, yeah, I mean, some of that I already knew. Uh, the sweets, I mean, uh, I think I knew that diamonds originated because there was the, like, the first diamond mine was in India, I believe. Uh, I think that I'll watch that in another video. <laughs> yeah, so I'm learning a thing or two. And yeah, it just got taken over by other locations. I don't understand, honestly, that it just you can you can make make diamonds now that it just and the fact that there are more there's more diamonds in the world than there are gold and there is gold so why diamonds are worth so much make no sense to me other than the fact that uh what is it that you know what whole thing um there's a whole uh just like just like with the the electric cars back in the day were being bogged down by big oil companies because it would have taken from them even though electric cars burn, do burn two times more oil to charge a car battery than it does to get a gas car so you know what there's a lot of things here that you know what i'm going off topic i like this video um some things i knew some things i didn't the sweets yes every now and then but it, too much i i feel like uh, that's how i get slow that's how i get slow i don't think it works for my metabolism even though i will eat an entire cake by myself will not lie about that. I will eat an entire cake by myself or an entire gallon of ice cream. But I say I'm not a fan of sweets. However, when I do get a sweet tooth, I have to eat the entire gallon of ice cream or an entire cake. It, it just is one of those things. Just like when I, I crave pizza, I need to get a whole pie to myself and I'll eat it for like several days in a row as I'm craving it. So... <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Uh, yeah, the world without India. There, there would be a lot of things missing, but yeah, at the same time, I liked it. I liked it. And of course, the fact that everything is uh, taken and westernized. I don't know why they mentioned uh, the Kardashians and all that other stuff. I don't like the Kardashians. I've never seen an episode, but anything that I see as reality TV, I know is fake. I've... I've seen the back ends of those things. I know how they operate. I know how they're scripted. I know how how it's just absolutely fake. And there is no reality to reality TV. <laughs> Hate to shatter the bubble, but it pisses me off just hearing the word reality TV. A sitcom is more real than a freaking reality TV. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.